My focus is on developing gene therapeutics for neurodegenerative conditions and other genetic conditions. The group of disorders in which I am working is called GM2 gangliosidosis. The example of those diseases is Tay-Sachs disease and Sandhoff disease. It is hereditary, that means that uh, the parents have to be carriers and there is one in four chance of them having a child affected with this condition. There is no treatment for this group of disorders. So mostly just children, they are born, they regress and they die. What happens is that there is a deficiency of an enzyme which is used to break down the, this lipid called GM2 genocide. When the enzyme is missing, the GM2 genocide starts accumulating in the brain. Once it reaches the toxic level, it kills that cell. So since this lipid is mostly in the brain, it starts killing the brain cells. When a child is born, the child is usually normal to appear. But within six months, the levels get accumulated very much to the level that the brain cells start dying. The child starts showing the signs of regression. Our strategy is that using vehicles or some kind of transport mechanism called viral vectors, we give that gene which is not working back to the body, especially in the brain, and, and the brain starts making that enzyme. It was very difficult before to take this enzyme and get it transported to the brain because there's a blood-brain barrier. Fortunately, we got a viral vector called AAV9. This is a kind of virus which can cause common cold, um, but it doesn't cause any major disease to humans. So that vector can take the gene into the brain and the cells will start making the protein. It is a very new cutting edge field trying to find the cure for genetic conditions who have no cure. I think genetics is going to have its role in almost every field of medicine or healthcare provision. People have been working for almost 10 years, uh, so maybe 15 years, but we haven't found a cure yet. If I can find a very long-term treatment for Tay-Sachs and Sandhoff group of disorders, I would say that we have achieved something.